Hello friends, welcome to Skill Tune and this is Naresh, your host and dost. Today we are going to uncover a lot of myths revolving around in the battery life on your iOS devices. That's right. We are going to show you some seven tricks and tips how to go ahead and maximize your battery life. But we need to learn how to maximize it with stabilizing some settings and tweaking few settings in the iOS and that's it. Stay tuned, watch the entire video, do not skip, you may lose very important vital information, right? Thanks guys, stay tuned and tune your skill. Alright, so friends, uh, let's go through some theory regarding the battery life, the lifespan, what is the uh, life cycle count, the battery uh, charge capacity and so on, right? So, <clears throat> I'm going to leave all the descriptions uh, very clearly and uh, going to share all the links so they can go through uh, the theory part uh, later on so this is uh, uh, I'm going through this page on the Apple site right and uh, it talks about uh, what is the battery life and what is the lifespan so on and so on remember if you think that you know the charging is a drop down after an iOS update or after a few um, applications been updated that's all myth right it may be that some application uh, settings have been changed uh, to go ahead and uh, you know uh, use some uh, features from your phone like the ambient sensor let it be the gyroscope or let it be the you know um, uh, any any sensors on your phone and it eventually impacts the battery so these are some things which you need to keep in mind keep keep watching the video guys and look at this the animation below this is the charge uh, the charge cycle there's a myth around this that if you charge to 100 percent then again use it for sometimes the uh, capacity the one cycle reduces but that's not at all the case the cycle is from 25 percent to 100 percent and one cycle is completed after you have discharge, discharged the 100% of your battery capacity. Please go through this. It's very, very informative, guys. All right. Last thing on the theory part I would uh, like to cover is, you know, the uh, what we generally do is we look at the, uh, the advertisement that this particular product gives so much of battery but what we end up uh, do is we do not research we do not check the background on what conditions are those devices tested on what specific uh, you know settings are those devices used where it has produced that awesome uh, battery performance and there are sev several factors which uh, impacts and affect there are a lot of tests and a lot of settings which apple uh, has tried and uh, given out the results you please go through this test this is very very informative guys right all right guys so let's have a look what are the seven factors which impacts the battery life or performance number one it's the location services can turn this off and it will definitely save you a lot of battery life guys I, so make sure that you know it's not always it's actually selected while using the application is also using so just go through this when you feel that something is not necessary please go ahead and turn it off and uh, please watch the bottom part of this uh, information what ios gives us one thing, if you notice here, there is a system services tab here. Please go inside and you'll see a lot of other, um, you know, location uh, services which uses the location and it eventually eats up all your, uh, you know, uh, battery life. I would prefer you to disable in case if you're really struggling with the battery life. Yes, the feature is definitely nice, but look at the other aspect of it. It eventually eats up your battery like anything guys and there's one more very informa information uh, here if you notice and please go through this section it has very informative um, things about location and privacy if you if you are concerned about let's go on the second most important factor which affects the battery life is mm -mm -mm -mm. 
right background app refresh right if you notice it says allow apps to refresh their content when on wi-fi or a mobile network in the background turning off apps may help preserve battery life and make sure that not all the application are, is using the background app refresh option and there is one myth super myth i would say mother of all myths uh, related to background app refresh which i'm going to cover in the end of the video please please watch the video completely don't miss any of them let's move on the third one it's about the displays and brightness if you notice i have turned off my auto brightness because i am not really in favor of having the display brightness uh, set to auto brightness because if you notice uh, in the theory part as i showed you that there are few tests which apple has conducted by having uh, keeping this option off because it eventually ends up uh, taking up more uh, battery life because it uses the ambient light sensor M make sure auto lock is also a feature uh, which i would prefer you to keep it off because again it uses some sensors to go ahead and uh, lock your phone when you're not using it and uh, using a manual way of uh, locking your phone then i don't think you need this feature to be on at all at any cost just to save your battery again all right let's move on the fourth uh, important thing tunes and app store it keeps uh, checking the app store for updates and it usually consumes data and if it is consuming data it will definitely consume battery so make sure you have automatic downloads uh, as turned off for music apps ibooks and updates because in case if you want to see if there is any updates available it's very simple just go to the app store go to updates and you will eventually see that the the apps updates automatically and show you the uh, updates available for at that moment guys so it's simple keep it that way go back let's move on to the fifth and the most affected factor in most of the uh, recent iPhones which has the hey Siri option if uh, you guys are not aware of what is hey Siri then that's the feature which you can uh, co communicate with Siri by just your voice by saying hey Siri if you notice I've also turned off hey Siri the next one very important the battery preferences if you notice it's calculating the battery usage as of now let's hold on for a while there you go and notice guys there are great statistics to understand what is causing the uh, battery performance uh, or battery drain which application is causing this right so let's let's um, uh, look at this this is the last 24 hours of battery consumption facebook has used 27 percent the home and the lock screen has used 25 percent youtube has used 20 percent and safari and so on and so on if you look at this what's the background activity is seven percent now let's do this right let's take the seven days data seven days data shows me that youtube has used 27 percent of the battery cons battery life whatsapp 18 followed by facebook look at this one important thing guys if you click on this icon right here on the top or the right hand corner like it looked like a clock now notice it says facebook 23 minutes screen time and 14 minutes background time and notice this there are a few application which only uh, uses the battery when it is on screen like for example uh, youtube right and there are some application which uses background if you notice gboard it says 17 minutes background and uh, make sure that these applications uh, the background app refresh is actually off for these applications and one more thing very important if you go to mail if you have configured any mail make sure the fetch new data is not set to push if you notice please go through this it says the schedule below is used when push is off or for applications that do not support push for better battery life fetch less frequently i would advise don't fetch it at all fetch it manually when you just open what i mean by fetches if you open mail and if you just do this this is how the new mail fetches that's as simple as that guys all right so 
one more thing mobile data if you could go to mobile data here and notice this there are so many applications which is using mobile data if you turn off the applications which really don't need mobile data we will save a lot of battery life right those these were the seven factors which impacts the battery life and performance and now it's time for the mother of all myths to enhance battery life yes closing apps to save your battery it feels like a cleansing or a reset best of all with no apps running your battery is in great shape right that's wrong that's a myth if anyone is in practice of closing these things over and over please stop them these applications running in the background do not affect your battery life yes they do not generally guys there is no need to force an app to close unless it's unresponsive let me explain you how it works right the app is ready to launch and ready to show you the data which you need but what we end up doing is we fix quit it if we reopen understand it involves lot of energy for that processor to open the app again and show you or display you the content which the app holds so don't do that and i think you're far far better off letting the system work for you rather than you forcing it to reopen and restart everything every time battery questions aside leave that aside it makes your phone slower and less coherent remember always that guys thank you thanks for watching this video guys and i hope this in this video was very informative if it is please do share the video to your friends and family if you have liked the video please like the video if you have disliked the video go ahead dislike the video but yes please don't stop there let me know why did you dislike the video what is that something missing do leave your comments below i would love to hear it from you so that i can improve the next time when i'm creating such informative videos uh, for you guys right and do not uh, forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and if you have already subscribed me thanks to all who are, who are my subscribers and yes one more thing and you can also reach out to me through my facebook page and i'm going to leave that uh, link in the description below right and one more very important thing i'm going to leave a vital few information regarding this content which i have created in the description below also do check it out right thanks guys thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching this video completely and this is nare shining off from skill tune stay tuned for more updates and tune your skills good day